Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. I am King of Space. Mess with the king of space. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where it's time to blow things up in space again. Except this time, you'll also be dodging force fields and a giant robot. It's Zaxxon for the Atari computers. Love that. Zaxxon. Few games have a better name than Zaxxon. Maybe Quark. Take a seat in your futuristic space fighter jet in 1982's Zaxxon from Sega. The iconic isometric spaceship shooter where you fly over blue things with walls and force fields filled with cannons. Your measly cannons that don't shoot will be destroyed. This is the permit area. Those planes were illegally parked. That's right, there's no tickets in Zaxxon, you just get destroyed for big points. Welcome to my laser beams. This is how they say hello. While the game is far from perfect, sure it's a bit repetitive since you fly through two levels and blow up a robot and then fly through two levels again. Technically, Zaxxon is amazing and the arcade machine looks really cool this is one of the first games like this for 1982 this was pretty much unheard of to give the player a 3d perspective which takes the game out of the traditional top-down 2d shooter mode it's a big risk versus reward game sure it's pretty easy to fly around and even avoid the force fields but if you're going to try blowing things up on top of that well prepare for a challenge as you can see the atari home computer version looks incredible. This is way ahead of the Atari 2600 release, but I actually prefer the ColecoVision version of Zaxxon, which has more in common with Super Zaxxon, the sequel, which is way harder. This one looks the part, but it does get repetitive quickly, because you're always doing the exact same thing. You can use the gauge on the left to easily make your way through the holes in the force fields. I used to play this game a lot in the arcades back in the day. I'm pretty sure it was sitting right next to Xevious. Talk about a nice pair of games. And Zaxxon is the reason I still use inverted controls for all of my games today. Because every game is Zaxxon. Flying around may not be terribly difficult, but if you're going to try to shoot everything, that's where Zaxxon becomes challenging. While well, I would recommend the ColecoVision version over this one, if you're going to buy Zaxxon for the Atari, go with the Atari home computer version that plays on the 400, 600 XL, 800 XL, and the Atari XE, which is what I'm using here. So yet another classic game room shout out and thank you to Gyrus Tempest Master 5000 Mark from Fresh Meadows, New York, for sending Zaxxon and the XE to the show. I actually got a chance to play some Super Zaxxon in the arcade over the weekend, and that game is really way harder than Zaxxon. Although I don't think you'll find Super Zaxxon for many home consoles, unfortunately. I believe this is the same version of the game as the Atari 5200 release, except you can use the Sega Genesis or Atari 7800 or 2600 gamepad to play this excellent home console or home computer version of Zaxxon! One of the greatest video game names and logos ever created, and a decent game as well. You know I always have coffee when I play Zaxxon. One of those things. Bring it, space! I will defeat your walls. <laughs> 